Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and I'm a first year engineering student at UBC. In this video, I'll be talking about the first year math and physics courses in first year engineering. So in first year engineering at UBC, there's four physics classes and three math classes. Um, and to give you a bit of background, I went to high school in BC, so I followed the British Columbia curriculum and I took a few AP courses, so I had a little bit of background going in. So first, um, two of the math courses are Math 100 and Math 101, which is Differential Calculus and Integral Calculus. So the third math course is Math 152, Linear Algebra, um, which covers topics like matrices, vectors, and complex numbers. So I think this class is really cool because we get to solve really cool types of problems. For example, if you're playing a game with a friend um, and there's a bunch of different states that the game could be in, you could calculate um, the probability of you winning the game um, after this many number of steps, which I think is really cool. So first for physics, there's physics 157 and physics 158, which are kind of related and they cover a bunch of different topics like thermodynamics, waves, circuits, um, and electricity and magnetism. So to me, this course felt kind of like an extension of what I learned in high school. Um, for example, in grade 12, I learned about direct current circuits that had resistors, and now we learn about uh, those same circuits, but they also have capacitors and inductors. So next, there's Physics 170, um, which is mechanics, and it basically covers a bunch of different topics in dynamics. Um, and again, I felt like it was kind of an extension of what I learned in high school. Um, I remember in high school, we would do uh, like pulley problems that had one string, and now we might have problems that have three strings. So last but not least, there's Physics 159, which is a physics lab, um, and it mainly focuses on experimental techniques. So I think this course is pretty cool. Uh, like for example, you would go to class and get an objective like measure the air pressure in the room today. Um, and then from there, you would think of a procedure and how you would come to a conclusion, which I think has been really cool uh, to kind of learn more about physics in depth. So those are just some of the cool things you'll get to learn in first year engineering at UVC. Um, and hopefully from this video, it's a bit clear what first year engineering at UVC is really like. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments. Um, and make sure to subscribe if you're interested in more engineering related content. Bye.